بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اسٹرکچر آف لیونگ آرگینزم یونٹ نمبر ون لیکچر نمبر فائیو دس از دا لاسٹ لیکچر آف دس یونٹ اسٹرکچر آف اینیمل اینیمل ہیو ٹو مین پارٹس آف دیئر باڈی ہیڈ اینڈ ٹرنک ہیڈ از دا انٹیریئر پارٹ آف دا باڈی ان ہیڈ ویجن دا سینسی آرگنس and brain and mouth is present in the trunk region in the trunk region is the posterior region of the body in trunk region all the system and the limbs they are present limbs mean four limbs is hands and hind limb mean legs skeleton the hard material which support and give shape to the body of an animal is called skeleton there are three main kind of skeleton hydrostatic skeleton exoskeleton and endoskeleton now explain these skeleton one by one in detail hydrostatic skeleton some uh, sort body animal like earthworm and caterpillar do not have hard skeleton their body are supported by a liquid which is present in the cell and in the space between them this type of skeleton is called hydrostatic skeleton second number skeleton that is called exoskeleton exo mean outside so such kind of skeleton is present outside the body and this skeleton is common in insects and most of the invertebrates this skeleton is made of a material that is called chitin it protect the body and it also work as a waterproof to exoskeleton the muscles are attached inside inside the skeleton is outside and muscle are inside so this is also a reason that this skeleton is called exoskeleton exoskeleton have no ability to grow it is dead so when the animal grow so first of all it shed their old exoskeleton like you can see here in this diagram this process is called molding when the animal come out from their old skeleton and it's complete its growth so then it's a create a new exoskeleton from its body endoskeleton such kind of skeleton is present inside the body and the muscle are attached to outside and this is the reason that this skeleton is called endoskeleton endoskeleton is mainly composed of bone that is of different size and shape endoskeleton have the ability to grow in size and it is living uh, exoskeleton is composed of bone so bone have some properties uh, it is living and it consists of living cells and minerals these minerals are carbonate and phosphate of calcium and magnesium bone can absorb pressure and bear weight bones are also living and they have the ability to grow general plan for a uh, general plan of the skeleton uh, usually skeleton are divided into two portion axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton axial skeleton it consists of skull this is the skull vertebral column that is present on the dorsal side and rib cage appendicular skeleton shoulder blade this is the shoulder blade hip bone this is the hip bone these are the hip bones four limb this is the four limb and hind limbs shoulder blade connect the four limb with axial skeleton while hip bone 
connect the hind limb with the axial skeleton. Now joints. What are joints? The place where two or more than two bones join together, these are called joints. Now a typical joint can be seen in this diagram. This is two bone and the ending of bone that is covered by another kind of tissue that is called cartilage. It protects the bone from injuries during their rubbing or movement. This joint is covered by a lining or membrane that is called synovial lining or synovial membrane. Inside this membrane there is a cavity and this cavity is filled by a fluid that is called synovial fluid. Ligaments. A joint the one bone is attached with another bone by a tissue and that is called ligaments. Tendons. Tendon is a tissue that connect muscle with bone. No different kinds of joints. Ball and socket joint. Ball and socket joint have the ability to move in all direction and the example is shoulder and hip joint. Hing joint, this joint have the ability to move in two direction like elbow joint and uh, knee joint. Next joint date is sliding joint. Sliding joint have semi rotatory uh, uh, motion ability and such kind of joint is present in the wrist and ankle. Fixed joint, these uh, joint have no ability of movement and such kind of joint are present in the cranium of the skull. Pivot joint, it, these joint uh, allow a slight uh, motion to the bone and such bind are present in the two vertebra of the vertebral column. So this was the end of last lecture and also of the unit number one. Ab hum aate hain homework pe. Uh, is unit ke jo first two lecture hai, aapne first week mein usko सुनना भी है गौर से और उसको फिर बुक में रीड करना है। रीडिंग के बाद आपने उसे फिर डिफिकल्ट वर्ड्स जो है आपने उसमें चूज करने हैं बुक में उसको अंडरलाइन करें और उसके फिर मीनिंग आप इंग्लिश एंड उर्दू मीनिंग उसके लेके लें। फिर इन्हीं से आप टेन एमसी क्यूब बना लें और आखर में एक डायग और कुछ फ्लावर जो है कलेक्ट कर ले उसको ड्राई कर ले और उसको स्क्रैप बुक में पेस्ट कर ले फिर सेकंड वीक में लास्ट थ्री लेक्चर जो इस यूनिट के है उसको आपने गौर से सुनना है समझना है और उससे भी आपने डिफिकल्ट वर्ड्स जो है वो कलेक्ट करने हैं और उसको अपने नोटबुक में जो आपका नोटबुक है वेकेशन का उसमें आपने लिखना है और फिर इससे भी आपने 10 एमसीक्यू बनाने हैं। आखिर में आपने एक डायग्राम बनाना है काकरोच का और उसको लेबल करना है और फ्लावर का फ्लावर पे आपने एक पैराग्राफ का जो है इसके डिफरेंट पार्ट्स पे आपने नोट लिखने हैं। सो थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड दिस इज़ द एंड ऑफ़ यूनिट वन